if we talk about Merdeka, of course we will talk about the history. And if we talk about the history, you would have probably imagined the history of Merdeka like this. But actually, the history is closer than what we imagined. The history comes from the foods we eat every day. There is a lot of interesting history about the food we eat every day. Let's take an example of a popular Malaysian food that we all know about, Nasi Lemak. Nasi Lemak has a long history. The first source about the existence of Nasi Lemak backtracks to 1909 when Sir Richard Olof Winstead wrote in his book about how the rice was cooked. Not with water, but with coconut milk or santan. This food is usually served at Malay weddings and festivals. So, how about Nasi Kanda? Malaysia's favourite meal for lunch or even dinner. Where does this Nasi Kanda come from? Nasi Kanda is actually the food of labourers and workers in the port of Penang which is always full and lively. Nasi Kanda sellers are usually Indian Muslims. Another interesting fact about Nasi Kanda is actually the name of the Nasi Kanda itself. Nasi Kanda in the old days are not sold in shops but with this way. One of the oldest foods that came to Malaya was Hainanese chicken rice. It took 150 years for this food to be brought by the Chinese immigrants to the country and southern islands. Originally called Wang Chang chicken rice, this rice underwent various developments according to the region. Chicken rice recipes are found in these countries, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, and of course, Malaysia. These foods all have a very long history, very interesting indeed, and also goes through a very long process, which finally reaches shops, kitchens, and finally our dining table. If you notice, what we enjoy eating every day is part of the history. This is a big proof of how Malaysia is labelled as a multi-racial country. Last but not least, on behalf of IX Telecom, we wish you a blessed and a happy Merdeka Day to Malaysia.